the diagonal how to get the length of any curve in geometry node. So let's see. Let's see the camera, the light, go to geometry node. I'm going to hide this panel, create a new profile, and I'm going to use a curve line. And later we're going to change the type of curve. So here we have a line. And what I'm going to do is, for example, to move it in this axis randomly, something like that. So to know the length of this curve, what you can do is to click here and now you can control this the length. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it with points. So how we can see the length of this curve. What you can do is to use the viewer node. Remember, you need the node wrangle in add-ons and press Ctrl Shift. And then you need to use a spline length. And if you're going to here and go here, enable attribute text, now we can see the length of this curve. So if we change this, you can see that it's been updated. Okay, but now I want to show this in a text. So how I do that? To do this, what I'm going to do is to use, first of all, join geometry. And get another wire from here and use curve length. So this node is really simple. Basically, it takes an input, a curve, and it gives you the length. So here it gives you the length. To see the length in a text, let's convert it in a text. So let's use value to a string to convert this value to a string. Remember, a string is a text. And now let's convert this string to curve. Let's connect it, and now you will see a text here. It says 8. First of all, let's add some fill. Fill curve. So we can see this here. And now let's rotate it in this axis, in Z. So let's add here transform. And let's rotate it 90 degrees. So this is the number of the length of this curve line. Now it says 8 because it doesn't have decimals. If you want more decimals, then able, for example, 1 decimal, 2, whatever. I'm going to leave 2. Now, how I can move this in the middle of this line? To do this, what we're going to do is to sample this curve with sample curve. And now, what we're going to do is to use set position because we want to change the position of this text. So here we can change the position. And this node is sampling all the position of this curve. So here we can connect the position to offset. Why offset? Because if you select position, every number will be in the same point. So very important, connect it to offset. And now it's at the beginning. However, here we have factor. Remember, factor goes from 0 to 1. So from the start of a curve to the end. So if you want this in the middle, as you can see, we can move this from the start to the end. So let's select 0 0.5. And now in the middle of this line, we have this text. By the way, if you want this text center, select here, center. And now I can move this line that you will notice that the text always is in the middle. If you want to offset this a bit, what you can do is to use transform and push it a bit in this axis. OK, maybe you're thinking, but you have already a tutorial calculating the distance between two points. However, it's not the same, the distance than the length. The distance always is a straight line from one point to another. But the length is how long is this curve. Now it's a straight line, I know. But we can use any curve. For example, let's drag this and use a cycle. And let's go to here. And let's show it here. So now this is showing how long is this cycle. So as you can see, it's not the distance. It's like having a long rope and just do a cycle 
and then say, okay, this rope is 6.27 meters. By the way, this number, maybe you are familiar, is 2 pi radians. So, do you remember this tutorial? If not, I recommend you to see it because it's really interesting. If you want to refresh, for example, half of a cycle always is equal to pi. And I can prove it to you. Let's add trim curve so we can trim the length of this curve. However, we need to connect this here to get the update of this. So remember what I say, half of the curve. So let's move this in 0 0.5. It's pi, as you can see, 3.14. So if you want to make an animation, for example, animating a curve, and you want to show how the length is increasing, then use a trim path and connect this after the trim path. So you can make this animation. But remember, you can use this with any curve. Really important. If I increase this, obviously, we will get more meters. For example, we can use any geometry. If we connect a cube, now this is giving problems because this is not a curve. But we can convert any geometry to a curve with mesh to curve. So now we are getting the number of the total lines, curve. So imagine you want to build this cube and you are buying some metal or wood. Then you know that to build a cube of one meter by size, you need at least 12 meters of this material. If we add more vertices, then you will notice that now we'll get more and more meters. Or if we just increase this. And you can use it with whatever you want. For example, if we connect an icosphere, by the way, let's move this text higher, something like that. Now we can see that one icosphere of one meter, it has this number of meters of curve. And if we add more subdivisions, let's check it. We get more and more and more meters. And also what you can do is to use this setup with a bezier. But first we need to create a bezier. So let's add a curve bezier. I'm going to hide this setup and create a new profile here and reuse the previous one. And really important, let's bring back group input. Let's connect it here. And now we have this bezier that is saying that is 2 meters 0.8. So what we can do is to go to edit mode and select everything with A and delete it. And now if we start drawing curve lines, we will get the total length. Now I'm going to draw a straight line, so let's go to curve, set the spline type, poly. And now, for example, if I select this view and I do some points, so from here to here, to here, here, I don't know, something like that. We have this length. So you can build any shape and always you will get the total length of this curve. And remember, in the curve, you can animate the line showing how the length increase. I hope you learned something new, and if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.